Hello and welcome to another video where today I'll be taking you through how to use if statements within Microsoft Excel. So what we'll do now is we'll swap over to the spreadsheet and make a start. So today we're going to be looking at the if statement, we'll also be looking at a sum if and we'll be looking at a count if. So we're using the same fictitious scenario as I used for the VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP video and if you've not seen that I'll leave a link to that in the description. So we'll start out with an if statement and an if statement is like a mini test for Excel. So we're inputting basically a mini question and we'll be returning the value based upon whether that is true or whether it is false. So using this scenario, I'm doing a test for whether something needs to be verified. And in this test, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my total values that are running down here. And these are total sales values. And what we might do as a business is have a small test to say that, for instance, if the value of the sale is over £500, then it needs to be verified by maybe a more senior member of finance. So we can use an if statement to test whether the value is over £500. Now an if statement I would say is quite easy, however we can make them more difficult if we want to test multiple variations, but that's not something I'll be going through within this video. So to start out, we would do equals if open bracket. Now the test in this scenario that I've set out is to see whether the total value is over £500. So what we would do is we would select the value and we would say, is this larger than £500? Okay, we don't have to specify currency. All it's testing is whether the figure is higher than 500 Now, once we've put our test in this first section, we can comma across and we can see that this turns dark blue or highlights blue. And this is the value if true. So what we're saying here is if the value is over £500, what do you want Excel to either do or to return? So we can specify that we want it to return a certain text or we could return a value or we could even put another formula in if we wanted to. But in this example, we're just testing is the total value over £500? So if that is true, so if it is over £500, we're wanting to say that it does need verification. So that would therefore be a yes. Now, if we're wanting Excel to return text, we need to put this in quotation marks. So we would put quotation marks, and then we type in yes, and then we would close our quotation marks. So what we're saying is if the value is over 500 pounds, then we need to return the value yes. We then comma across and it says value if false. So here it's saying if it fails the test, i.e. if it is below 500 pounds, what do you want me to return? So in this example, that would be no. So again, we'd put our quotation marks, type in no, close your quotation marks, and then it will be close bracket to end your formula. Now, when we enter that in, obviously it's come up with no here because it is below 500 pounds. So that's what we would expect. So what we can do, well, we'll first bring this into the middle to make it a little bit clearer. We can drag this down or double click in the bottom right hand corner and that will bring the formula all the way down to the next available gap. So if I scroll down, we can see that it'll take the formula all the way down to the bottom relevant cell. So we can see here that we've got yes and no on certain transactions. So the ones that are above 500 pounds, we can now see that it says yes. And for any that are below 500 pounds, it states no. So that's how we can use an if statement. What we can now do is have a look at how you use a sum if and a count if. So to show you how they can be used, I've created another tab at the bottom called Sales Analysis. So if we click in Sales Analysis, we can see here that we've got the countries going down the left hand side, and then we've got the number of sales. We've also got continent and we've got the total sales. So the first test that we're going to be running is a count if, and we're testing here how many sales there have been for each country. So not the total value of the sales, just simply the number of sales that there have been for each 
country. Now count if does exactly what it says on the tin. It counts depending on a test that we set for Excel. So in this example, the way that we will set that out is equals count if open bracket. Now the first thing we need to select is the range. Now the range is the range of cells that you are testing. So basically in this, we're going to be looking for France. So the range is where do you want me to look for the term France in? So what we would do, we go back to our sales tab and we would select the column where the countries are. So we see we've got customer country here and we can select the entire column. Comma across and that puts us onto criteria. So let's go back to our sales analysis and we want to be searching for France. We can then close brackets and enter that in. So what that returns is that there's been 16 sales to France. And we can now drag that down and it will tell us the number of sales for each country. So the last one that I want to show you is a sum if. Now a sum if, rather than just counting, will actually add the values together. So in this example, I've gone for the total sales per each continent. So the way that we set this out, it's very similar to a count if, but instead we're going to use sum if, open bracket. Now the range, again, is where do you want me to look for whatever criteria it is that we want to return. So for example, in this one, we're going to be looking for Europe. Now the range is where do you want me to look for that? So again, back to our sales tab, and we want to be selecting column E, which is the customer continent. We can then comma across, and the criteria is, what do you actually want me to look for? So back to our sales analysis, and we're looking for Europe. Now, the difference here between a count if and a sum if is that we have a further range to select. So what we do is we comma across again, and the last area that we need to fill out is this sum range. So the sum range is what you actually want to add together. So what we would do is we go back to our sales tab and we go to column H because we're looking for the total amount of sales to each continent. So this is what Excel is going to be adding together once it's found the relevant continent that it relates to. So we'd select column H, close brackets and enter. So what that will do is every time it finds Europe, it will then go across to the total amount and start adding them together for all those which match with Europe. We can then drag that down and it will do the same thing for Asia. So every time it finds Asia within our continent column, so E in this example, it will go across the total value and it will add it together. So going back to our sales analysis, we can see that we've now got the number of sales to each country and the total sales value for each continent. So that's just three simple ways that you can use an if statement, a count if, and a sum if. And that wraps up how to use an if statement in Microsoft Excel. Hope you found this video useful. And remember, if you have, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more accounting videos. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.